Hey, Jen. Oh, hey, Neil. Kelly needs to see you in her office as soon as you can. Oh, absolutely. I gotta go. Hey, Jan. Kelly just called me into her office. I think this is Hello. it. Good luck. Oh, hey, Tara. Hey, Jennifer. I think Kelly's about to name me assistant manager. You know, the queen is about to crown me princess. Oh, goody. Well, best of luck to you, princess. You're firing me? Well, I think fired is maybe a harsh word, but we, we have no further need for your services, Jennifer. But I don't get it. I really don't. I worked really hard and I did everything you asked me to do. And Jennifer, that's kind of the problem. You did everything I told you to do. Exactly. I'm supposed to do what the boss tells me to do, right? Your job was to find ways we can generate additional revenue from our existing club members. Right, and I did that. You, you did that, but you did it here at this desk. You followed up on ideas that I gave you. What we need here is someone who can create her own plans and then bring them back to the rest of us. How could you expect me to possibly do all of that and just, I've only been here for four months. It's called teamwork. And, you know, I'm aware that you're just learning this business, but you know, I didn't really know this business when I first started, yet I went from making the decision to do this to opening the front doors of the main branch in just 13 weeks. In 13 weeks? All by yourself? No, not by myself. That's the point. I hired good people and I delegated tasks and I trusted them with decisions. I got feedback from them, just as you could have. You know, I made sure all of my senior staff was available to you. Well, I just didn't want to bother them. And you kind of succeeded. I asked Jason what he thought of the plans you're working on and do you know what he said? Who's Jennifer? Doesn't Jason work at night? Yes, he's the night manager. And 37% of our weekday business occurs after 7pm, so... Probably a man worth talking to. I will do that. No, you did it again. I gave you an idea and you say, I'll go do that. That's not what I need. I need you to find ideas of your own. You know, I've told you this. We've talked about this. Maybe you did, but I'm just not comfortable with that. And I'm not comfortable with your reticence. Teamwork is a key skill here. Jennifer, you have a degree in business. You've been here almost four months. I think I'm in a position to ask, where are my results? You know, when I first asked you for your ideas on how to upsell a customer... And I came to you, I asked for your help. I just didn't want to throw something out there that wouldn't work. But how would you find out if it would work if you're too afraid to ever try anything? Well, I didn't want to waste any money. No, you don't. So when you didn't get very far with that task, I backed up. And I asked you for a diagram of a life cycle for one of our clients. You know, how we get them in the door, how we enroll them in their first classes, how we continue to sell to them. Yes, and I took you that diagram. Jennifer, your diagram made no sense. You had people going to kneel in accounts receivable before they were even customers. I know that process. I just didn't know how to put it down on paper. But I will try again. I really appreciate your enthusiasm, Jennifer. I do, but it's an entry-level skill. I think if the economy was different, yes, I would have looked around and probably found a spot for you and I could have brought you along, but that's just not the reality. I, I can't afford to do that now. What, what about my references? I'll be happy to tell anyone that you are reliable, that you can work a 40 to 45 hour week, that you're honest and that you have integrity. How's that? Those things are important. Yes, they are, but today they're not enough. I just saw Jim walk by. How'd it go? Oh, gosh, it was really hard. It's the toughest job in business, Cal. Well, thank God I don't have to do those kinds of things every day. Sometimes you just have to make tough decisions. Jan just didn't get that fact. Hey, when you're done working out, will you please buy me lunch? I think I need a break. It's been a tough morning. Sure, as long as I'm not next in line. It's the chopping block. All right, I love you.